Welcome! You're watching this installment dad where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Hey, Jesse. We meet again, my long lost love. If you guys tuned into the wonderful world of Disney Deal series I did for the holidays almost a year ago, you might recall that amidst my litany of celebrity crushes, Debbie Ryan took the top spot. And the catalyst for this crazy quest was a starring vehicle for the Disney Channel, Jesse, in which she was also a co-producer and even directed a few episodes. This is the second of three Jesse Jr. novels from Disney Press and Let's See Wiles that are available. The one that remains is Quest Crazy, which I have my eye on right now. But for now, we're going to talk about Jesse living a life. Two episode adaptations in one book, retailing for $5.99 in the U.S., $6.50 in Canada, and picked up from 2nd Avenue Thrift Superstore in Union for a buck ninety-nine. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. By the way, we have here eight pages of color stills from the two episodes that I adapted here. Somebody's in Trouble, written by series creator and executive producer Pam Eels O'Connell, and Teacher's Pest, written by Sally Lapidus and Aaron Dunlap. Eight photos per each episode, 16 photos in all. So half and half. If you haven't recounted my crust on Debbie Ryan during her Jesse days, I'll explain them now. I'll try my best to keep it brief, though, because my crust has extinguished. You know, it's been a while since I watched this. However, ah, oh, the way she moved, the way she dressed, the way she spoke. You know, she could be fun, but she could still have a lot of fun with the Lost Lanes. You know, the little losses, Emma, Zoe, Wavi, and, uh... Luke. Oh, yeah, that Luke. With the exception of Emma and Zoe and Ravi, Luke, like myself, took an instant attraction to Jesse. And for me, it went way deeper. <laughs> yeah, I was in love with Debbie Wyatt for quite some time. And my quest paid off. I mean, she noticed me a few times through Facebook and the account formerly known as Twitter. She even followed me for quite some time on X, aka Twitter. Oh, man, those were some good days. And by the way, she did that, the latter, following me on Twitter, now X, during the holidays. So that was almost like a pre-Christmas present, for which I thanked God for. But I still do. Anyway, star student. While Jesse is helping Zoe take care of Lucy, the classroom buddy, Lucy goes missing. Hey, good news for Bertram, but it's also bad news because... He's scared of buddies. If you don't know Bertram, uh, he's the, uh, the butler for the Ross family. And Jesse is hired by the parents, you know, supermodel, town mogul, Christina, and husband, movie director, uh, Morgan. Ah, I recollect all these characters, and it's been a while since I watched Jesse. Oh, there's also Mrs. Chesterfield and Officer Petey. Oh, yeah, and who could forget that doorman Tony who had a thing for Jesse way early on, like Luke. Anyway, this is the teacher, I'm sorry, somebody's in trouble portion of the softcover program. Will Jesse track down the runaway rabbit before Zoe realizes Lucy escaped? Then, in Teacher's Pest, in an attempt to help Zoe succeed in school, Jesse tells her the importance of running over her teacher, Mrs. Falkenberg. But instead of impressing her, she ends up with a name on the naughty board. Will Jesse go right from teacher's pest to teacher's pet, or will the naughty board prevail? Two days in the life of a young New York City nanny. Eh, yeah, I'm giving this to full Marty. Five out of five because of the eight pages of photos in here. And by the way, there are also eight pages of photos and diary entries in the other two books. I'll link the first one down below, New Nanny, if you want to see that from my Disney Deal series. The other book that remains is Crust Crazy. And by the way, all three of those books were adapted by Lexi Wiles, who also wrote the diary entries for Jesse. We also have here adaptations for Teen Beach Movie, which honestly I wouldn't mind having you around. Just for the sake of it, because I also have a thing for Maya Mitchell. <laughs> With regard to Shake It Up, the only book that remains in their series is Born to Dance. I will find it, eventually. Because 
we were born to bargain. I've already made it a silly. I was born to bargain, just as I was born to love Debbie Ryan. Now, not that much anymore, but I'll always remember those days. And they sure did feel like a party. And check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.